I featured a woodless graphite pencil on one of my recent videos and I wanted to talk a little further about it because it's something people always have questions about anytime it shows up because it's kind of weird looking. It's a shaft entirely made of graphite, what we call lead, in the middle of the pencil. It's this smudgy, soft mineral. Traditionally, both this shaft and this shaft are made by taking the mineral, grinding it up really fine, mixing it with some amount of clay, and putting it through a kiln. You can hear a glassiness. It's pretty brittle. It's just ready to shatter. Mine are all in little shards. They break very easily. With normal graphite pencils, you can get narrow lines, and then if you use it on its side, you can get a wide line, but no wider than that. With a woodless graphite pencil, you have even more versatility. You can get a narrow line, but then you can also get a really wide line. It's as wide as the whole length of this. They make beautiful wide and narrow lines, both the calligraphic line. You can even do calligraphy with it. I've tried a lot of different brands and my favorite is Prismacolor. Woodless graphite pencils come in a round cylinder form. Graphite sticks come in a variety of shapes, including hexagonal shapes and then also typically these square ones. This one's rectangular, that's kind of unusual. These square graphite sticks are usually about three inches long to start with, but these round ones are usually about this, about like a normal pencil. You know, what's that, six inches long or something? Graphite sticks, those usually come without a coating. Woodless graphite pencils come with a coating. It's a paint coating and it helps keep your fingers clean and everything else on the inside of your drawing kit. They sharpen up really nicely. But as versatile as this is to be able to go narrow and wide with one of these, it's not quite enough for me. I really like to strip the paint off these because then I can get really wide lines and make shading in a breeze. I'll usually use the closed back edge of a pair of scissors. It makes a mess, but it only takes a couple of minutes. <laughs> Look at that. The little graphite sticks, they have little corners, they have flat sides that you can go wide line and narrow line. They have a long flat side for shading things in. One time I was in a bookstore, somebody had dropped an entire box of Prismacolor woodless graphite. It had shattered most of them into three and five inch chunks. I walked in, they know I'm an artist, and they said, hey, would you like to have these? We can't sell them. I almost prefer a short pencil like this. So I kind of got a life supply. It was my lucky day. They're a beautiful pencil. If you like to draw and you don't mind your fingers getting a little messy, they are a lot of fun. I especially enjoy them for quick sketching, like in figure drawing class. They were a lifesaver. I'd like to invite you to draw with me. I'll continue to update the description below this video. Look there for drawing lesson opportunities and ways to contact me. I hope you have a lovely creative day.